Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a guest tour video for 2023. If you're new to the channel, I'm a third year PhD student. So my desk is really all about trying to be productive, but also allowing it to be flexible to have some fun. So let's jump straight into the video. First, let's talk about the laptop that's driving this entire setup. So right now I'm using the 2021 Asus Zephyrus G14. This particular model has 16 gigs of RAM along with an RTX 3060. And this is honestly the best laptop I've ever purchased for myself. And I honestly think that it's a great laptop for college students because it's a 14 inch laptop. It's light enough where you can keep it in your bag and it doesn't feel like a burden carrying it all over the place. And it has a lot of good ports, so you can obviously connect an external display to it so you can be super productive. And I really like that it has a dedicated graphics card. So the RTX 3060 is perfect for someone who just games pretty casually and you can game on the go. So even though I'm not a super serious gamer, this has allowed me to play different types of games, whether I'm working from home or if I'm just traveling. So under the laptop is actually this metallic stand that I picked up from Amazon. Pretty basic. It allows you to kind of have the laptop in a floating position. And the best thing of having that kind of position is that it just allows your eye level to be consistent between the laptop and the main display here. So you don't have to kind of strain your neck when you're using both displays to work. Um, and I do think it looks a little bit cleaner having the laptop floating up there rather than resting on the desk itself. So in terms of my main display, I'm currently using a 32 inch monitor from LG. I don't know the exact model number, but having a huge monitor has been super helpful in being more productive, especially as a PhD student, because just using your laptop screen alone, I don't think that's enough space because when you're writing your own papers, you're typically referencing other sources. So you wanna have, you know, another screen to have that other paper open, or if you're doing any sort of coding, you know, it's a lot easier to have your code on one side of the screen and then on the other side have something like ChatGPT or some sort of coding form to kind of help you along the way. So having this big monitor has been a lifesaver. So I definitely recommend any college student or PhD student to invest in an external monitor. It obviously doesn't have to be anything fancy or honestly, it doesn't really have to be this big. Um, at all. Just anything to kind of give you that extra real estate to be more productive is really, really good. So the main display is being held up by a monitor arm just so I can free up some space on the desk under the monitor to hold some other stuff. At the top, you can see I do have an external webcam on the left. And the reason why I had to buy a webcam is because the G14 doesn't actually have a webcam. I know that the 2023 and 2022 models do, but this one unfortunately does not. So obviously when I'm having meetings with my supervisor, or with other PhD students, I need a webcam. So that's why I picked that one up from Logitech. And then this bar here pretty much just lights up the monitor as well as the desk. So all you have to do is just use these touch controls. I'm gonna touch it and then bam, it just kind of illuminates the entire space. So rather than having a big heavy desk lamp taking up more space on the desk, you can just have it on the monitor right here. Next, let's take a look at the things that are actually on the desk. So here we have a huge steel series uh, desk pad, really, really dirty. I do recommend not getting a black one because the dead skin cells and all the dust and stuff really do collect up and get nasty. So this guy definitely needs a wash. When it comes to my mouse of choice, I am currently using the Logitech G703. This is both my productivity mouse as well as my gaming mouse. Super responsive, super light, have no issues with it. This mouse has been really, really good. In terms of my keyboard, I'm currently using the HyperX 70% TKL keyboard, I believe. I picked this up a couple of years ago before COVID, and all I really did was I switched up the keycaps to these white ones that HyperX also sells, just so I can have this nice black and white contrast. And what's nice about this keyboard is that it does also light up as well. If I hold the fun function key, you can see it lights up red. It, it is only one color, unfortunately. It's not fully RGB, but it does have you know, these different lighting patterns. There we go. But I typically just keep the lights off just so it's, uh, it's less distracting. I did end up buying a dedicated microphone. So this is the Snowball from Blue Yeti. And this one's actually really good when it comes to having meetings, when I'm gaming with my friends and just want to have a nice clear voice or when I'm doing any sort of YouTube work and I'm doing voiceovers, sometimes I will use this microphone just so my voice is a little bit crisper. So these are the main headphones that I use every single day. These are the noise canceling Bose. I believe there are the Q35s or 45s. Don't remember the number, but these were actually a gift 
from the University of Waterloo. So this year, what they ended up doing was buying each of the PhD students uh, these headphones. Now you can use the headphones as long as you're a PhD student, but the second you graduate, you do have to return them. So since I'm only in my third year, I can still use these for another two to three years. But these have been a lifesaver. The noise cancellation is great. They're super light on the head and they do have uh, multi-device Bluetooth support. So currently it's just hooked up to my G14 as well as my phone, but this has been really, really great. And then I just have this little headphone stand right here. So here we just have a multi-device wireless charger. So this one can charge my iPhone, AirPods, as well as the Apple Watch all at the same time. So just a really nice convenient device that tackles all three devices at the same time. And right next to it, I do have these little cable management things kind of stuck all over my desk. I have one right here just to kind of thread my keyboard cable through, but it's just a nice way to kind of keep things a little bit more organized and tidy. Now to the left, I just have these really basic Logitech speakers that I got from Best Buy a few years ago, just because the speakers that are built into the monitor aren't that great. So this just provides a little bit extra oomph in the sound. Nothing fancy, really cheap, but it just gets the job done. And then last but not least, this is probably my favorite thing on the desk. So I have this Funko Pop that I got gifted from my sister. And if you watch Yu-Gi-Oh! as a child, you'll know that this is actually the Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Super cool. And you can see like at the bottom in the back, it's actually the Toon World card as well. This is the actual book right here. So this really cool Funko Pop, really unique. So I decided to keep this on my desk. Now, when it comes to the desk itself, this one was picked up from Costco a couple of years ago during the pandemic. It's actually kind of small when it comes to a sit stand desk. So you have these kind of touch buttons that obviously lets it go up and down a bit. And it also has these two USB ports. So here, all I have is a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And then the only thing I'm not a big fan about this desk is that the top is actually glass. So it's really reflective. So I'm not a big fan. I prefer if this is more like a matte finish on top, but it is what it is. But overall, it's kind of nice having a sit stand desk just because as a PhD student, you're like sitting all day and so sometimes throughout the day especially in the afternoon it's good to just stand a little bit when it comes to the chair this is just your basic ikea marcus chair i'm sure you guys have seen tons of these on youtube it was very popular during the pandemic and so i decided to pick one up as well before this chair i was actually using a dining chair so this is actually a lot more comfortable than my old setup and then just under the desk right there i just have this little ottoman and the only reason why i have that is because sometimes i do watch movies and shows on the desk here and so I can kind of lean back on the IKEA chair and then just put my feet up there and it just becomes a really nice relaxing way to chill. Now the best part of the desk setup is actually not on the desk itself it's actually right next to the desk. So right next to my desk I do have this couch and the reason why I put this couch here is that my dog Lola actually sleeps on this couch a lot throughout the day and so she keeps me company as I'm reading my papers. With that being said I'm going to end the video here just so I don't disturb Lola anymore Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.